Hi, welcome to the Bonds YouTube channel. My name is Trust Inyokori from the DevRel team at Bonds. In this video, we'll have a quick look at what it takes to build a decentralized application, aka DAB, from how much it costs to options available to build and deploy smart contracts easily. Blockchain technology has come to stay. It is a boss everywhere, especially with the emerging of Web3. It is the present and the future. Blockchain technology is used in today's world by businesses to build secure, cost-effective applications. Like every application, companies, developers, product managers need to draft a budget before undertaking a blockchain development project. This video is designed to show us what it takes, what costs, what it takes to build a DAB, what factors affect the cost, and how to build DABs. The first factor that we will take a look at that influences a DAB is the method in which you choose to build a DAB. The cost and type of developers involved at first budget. You could choose to hire freelance developers to build your blockchain application. You could choose to employ um, an agency to build your DAB, or you could choose to build using in-house engineers and developers to build your DAB. Whatever decision you make, whatever method you want to use, there are costs you know, attached to it. For freelancers, hiring a freelance developer to build DAB usually costs between $30,000 to $50,000, depending on the expertise of the engineer. Sometimes hiring an agency or having an in-house team could cost between $500,000 to $2 million, depending on the nature of the DAB you want to build and the use case of the DAB. Now, the second factor we want to take a look at is the complexity of the DAB. Before we go into that, let's look at the industry of the DAB. So another factor that influences the cost of the DAB is the industry in which the DAB is being built. The requirements of various industries differ and the price differ as well. An example is why DAB in software media industry require high level authentication, authorization and security. DABs in the financial industry require a lot more higher level of authentication and security. So the amount of money you will spend on authentication, security on a financial application would be more than in the software media industry. So variations, other variations to be factored in here also include the number of users that are going to interact with the application. So the more users, the more cost, the more complexity, and the more factors you put into consideration to handle the particular use case you want to handle. The third factor that influences the costs or the budget of a DAB is the complexity of the DAB. How complex is a DAB? How complex is the use case of the DABs? A combination of different factors determine what complexity of the DAB means. The first is what we call consensus mechanism. It's a system that is used to maintain the security of the DAB and validate the authenticity of the DAB, you know, through transaction of different blockchains. And most DABs use one of the three most common consensus algorithms to um, checkmate this. They could, they could use proof of work, POW, or proof of stake, POS, and delegated proof of stake, DPOS. So these are different consensus algorithms that can be used in the DAB. So depending on what proof of uh, what consensus algorithm you want to use, that means how complex it's going to be. The other variation that it means how complex a DAB is, is the platform to be used. Numerous platforms can be used to build DABs from the ground up, with Ethereum being the most popular. Other platforms you know, can be used are Ripple, Neo, and OpenChain. The most important thing you want to note here is that you have to be careful on the platform you choose. So ensure the platform that you choose is compatible with the industry of the DAB you want to create. So for example, Ripple is most beneficial for those who want to create financial systems. And so Ethereum also has its own best use case. So we have to be careful to select what platform you know, gets to be compatible with the industry you want to use. Another is the technology stack that also, you know, 
the variable that tells us how complex the DAO would be is one, what kind of tech we're using. Usually a tech stack is a combination of programming languages, tools, frameworks that are used to build applications. In web development, the main stack, which consists of MongoDB, Express, React, and Node.js is a popular tech stack for building web, web applications. There are also quite different things to put into place. We want to build a full stack blockchain application. So we want to ensure that we have the right products, the right tech stack to achieve an effective development of our dApps. What are these tech stack? Well, the first is APIs. So APIs are commonly used in blockchain for authentication, monitoring, handling of smart contracts on the front end, in auditing, creating key pairs and addresses, and other use cases. So APIs are a must have when trying to build blockchain applications. The, the other is the UI or the front end of the DAP. Of the DAP. So UI design is arguably the most important part of a DAP for users because this is where you just get to see and interact with the use cases that you're trying to build for them. So if we don't do this right, it affects how the DAB is going to be used. So money will also be spent to ensure that the UI, the front end is friendly enough, and we're using more than best you know, technology to build and enticing use cases for front end and the UI for users to use. The last is proof. Before the entire blockchain application is built, there should be a sort of prototype to show some of the main features the application we have before diving deeper into building the entire stack. So there are two methods of doing this, which are either using POC or MVP approach. A POC means proof of concept, while MVP means minimum viable product. It is, it is recommended to go with MVP approach so that you can show the main features of the DAB before we dive deeper into build the entire case so that the developers will know what to do and of course reduce the time spent and increase the, 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 the beneficial um, nature of the use case to the, to the users. We've seen what it takes to build you know, dApps. We've seen you know, different um, things to put into, into consideration going on from the, the tech stack to use to the use case the industry, the platform, and of course, what developers want to use that increases the, the budget and the cost of the DAP. And the question now comes is, if we have a budget with a DAP and the budget is $500,000, do we have alternatives to reduce the cost? What can we use or put into perspective that can help us reduce the DAP timeline, the cost, and of course, build more effective DAPs? This is where Bonds comes in. Bond is an application developed by Last Trust to help users build and deploy DApps, smart contracts, NFTs, and other blockchain-based applications without writing any code. Bond gives users without blockchain expertise or knowledge of any blockchain programming language the opportunity to build blockchain-based applications easily and in, in no code. Using bonds will greatly reduce the, the cost of building DAB as you no longer need to spend lots of money employing experienced blockchain developers, experienced you know, blockchain uh, Ethereum based developers. So you can easily use blockchain, sorry, bonds as a blockchain backend service to launch and deploy smart contracts without employing developers. Uh, it reduces the time of developers to build quickly and showcase on, on, the, on, on the front end. Bonds is free to use, so you can quickly get into Bonds, try it out, and begin to use to deploy, add into your stack for building complete full stack DABs and reduce the cost of the entire full stack DAB by hiring developers and reduce time timeline as well. In the description below, you're going to find a link to join the Bonds Disco community where you get to ask questions, meet other Web3 devs, interact, and build amazing cool products using Bonds. And you can, of course, visit bonds.dev to see how bonds can help you quickly build dabs, launch smart contracts, and build amazing web3 applications on the go.